All right, you ready? Welcome, Welcome back, back to Treasure Hunting with Jeebus, guys. guys. And stay tuned for this one because it's an awesome unit. So we picked up the last unit of the day for a great price, and there were all kinds of hidden treasures in it, plus a pretty cool story that go along with it. So make sure you check it out. Don't forget to like the videos, subscribe if you're new. Let's get on the road. All right, guys, so we just got back to the facility. This was the very last unit at the very last place, and it was the only one we were able to fit in the car today. So we paid 85 bucks for it. Doesn't look to be much in there, but fingers crossed, there just has to be treasure. There has to be. Without further ado, let's get digging. So like we said, we paid 85 bucks for it. It shouldn't have gone that high, it really shouldn't have. There's not much in there, but this was the last facility in the last unit up for auction. And I was like, you know what? We have to get a unit. We have to get a video out for you guys. So 85 bucks, let's see what we can make back. This will be an easy 10 bucks. I don't know why people like these monitors. I think for computers and whatnot, but that should be $10 at least, maybe a little more. Depends on brand too. At a minimum, it's 10 bucks. Okay, I'm gonna be honest here. We have one quilt here. There's also another quilt in here, but it's not in there no longer because, show them, show them, show them. Let's go down here. We had to block that for Speaker. the music. <laughs> they, they just won't cut off the music, so. We gotta do what we gotta do. We can't get copyright strikes around here. But two quilts, three quilts. Boom. Another quilt. Is there another <laughs> right one? Here. Hey, at least this one's in the package. Yeah. So, hey, whoa. Look at that. $120, $120 on that. Everything, it's just brand. It's just brand. So that could be worth a good amount of money back already. Right there. A pillow, still in the package too. Yay! Yay! All right, we got a purse. This is where the money's at. Ooh, it's Dooney and Burke too. Look at that, we sold these for like 50 bucks pretty consistently. Let's pull it out here and go through it. Ooh, yay. Starbucks. I hope that didn't just get shown. Hold on. Their name plate. Their uh, ooh, Congress. What? <laughs> Congressman's <laughs> storage unit? Cool. It's probably just a replica thing. I don't know. Subject notebook. Let's see. Anything interesting? Uh, not that I see. But the Duty and Burke purse is nice too. Like I said, 50 bucks easy. Anything interesting? Via. Ah, oh, this is somebody from France. This is their, like trying to attain citizenship in the U.S. from France. Huh? Cool. That's pretty interesting. Ooh. This. Ew. That's where the money's gonna be. Where's it at? Oh, we do have some gift cards. No money, but is that a gift card? What is that? I don't think so. And a Rite Wellness card. Is that all that's in there? No, there's another section. Ha ha. That's where the money's gonna be, right? Boom. No. No money. But, let's see, pictures. Is it all just pictures? What is that? American Express prepaid card. We'll call this one we get in the car. Maybe it has some money on it, who knows? Some of them do. They're, you can get lucky. There's the official Dooney and Burke thing. He even has a number in there, so you know that's authentic. You don't usually see the tag in there. Yeah, a lot of them don't have it in there. But even the ones that don't, still sell it really easily. So, pennies, phone chargers, random paperwork. Guys, we almost went, missed an exciting piece of paper and a rest record, my favorite. Four. DUI. Nice. <laughs> Traveling okay. southbound. Yeah, they hit somebody. I don't know, like, I guess that's criminal, that's felony charge, isn't it? Has to be. So we got a felon unit? <laughs> it's gotta be interesting, Dad. Where do we go from here? These are all books. Cooking books? You know what they are? 
Some books can be worth good money too. It's a big book. Bon Appetit Desserts. There's another one too. What does that one say? Savior. This one is Congressional Record. That's crazy. That's a school. Oh, that's weird. Where do we go from here? This one? Sure. Ooh, that's got some weight. Let's get it out. Get this stuff out of for now. Alright, you ready? Boom! Alright. Random this. Some pills. Ooh, what is that? Hmm, what is that? A timer? Alarm clock? What's in the hidden bag in the bag? A million dollars. Even when we went dumping having a bag and thought of a bag was good. It's always a good sign. Not today it looks like. Just random junk. And some McDonald's sugar. Uh oh. What is in here? What do we got? More paperwork. What's this? Just papers. A few cards and a few envelopes. What's that? What does that say? Robert Welch. What does Robert Welch make? No idea. It's whatever it is, it's got something in it 100%. I guess some cooking related. Yeah, silverware. Hey, some silverware could be worth <laughs> money. You never know. Some of them, some people find silver ones too. I doubt these are silver, but Robert Welch. It is a set because it has like an eight out, eighteen out of twenty on there. So who knows? Remember we found one thing that was like a dishware set, and I thought it was worth. It ended up selling for like eighty dollars, and I was like, yeah. Okay. So you never know. Plug. What's in there? Yeah, pillowcase. What's in there? A few holiday cards. Other than that, it looks like clothes and what is that? Charger. Things of that nature. Now it's in the trash bag. Oh yeah, some ideal boost for weight loss, craving control, and fresh taste. Something I need in my life. Ooh. We got a whole supply pack for Jeremy here. We're gonna send this to What the Hales all day. Let's see what they got. They have a whole picnic here. Peanut butter, jelly. That's a whole brand new thing of peanut butter too. And a brand new thing of jelly. And a brand new thing of mayonnaise. And some Nestle, whatever that is. What is that? Superior high quality, I don't even know what that is. But, hey, they got a good care package coming. All kinds of good food right there. Next bag, let's put this one out. Oh, whoa, that's got a lot of weight to it. Put the care package aside right there. Mm. Don't be more food. Don't be more food. Hot tools? Why does it look like a vacuum? <laughs> I've never seen that before on a hair dryer. I mean, it comes off. Have you ever heard of the brand Hot Tools? Yeah, it does. Straightener, it looks like. Yep, that's a hair straightener. Other than that, it looks like just typical bathroom stuff. What is that? Shampoo, conditioner, and just the typical stuff you find in the bathroom. Uh, hold on. Yeah. That's all bathroom stuff. Now let's get into this one. It looks like it's going to be closed, but you never know. Plus, as our last unit showed, clothes can be good money. Let's figure out how to get into it. There we go. You ready? It is. Looks like sheets. Bed stuff? Yeah. A bra. There's some new clothes in there, looks like. Is this new? Oh yeah, it's new. Huh. Land's End, have you ever heard of that? 
So we might, we'll go through this in a recap. We'll take it out and take everything that's new at least and show you in the recap. But I don't want to take two sheets and stuff for 20 minutes because that's not that entertaining. We'll just show you all the good stuff at the end. This bag is extremely heavy. Why? Because it has a brand new thing of detergent in it. Not like it's expensive or anything, but hey, that's saving it. 10 or 15 bucks right there. It's one of those big bottles too, so I'm happy with that. So how much you think, ooh, a new lasagna pan can go for? Probably expensive. You'd be surprised what kitchen stuff is expensive. There's the brand on it. I mean, it's heavy. It's got to be in there. Yep. Yeah. With the gloves and everything. Huh. That should be some good money. Right there. Yeah. What did I just say? <laughs> that should be some good money right there. Fingers crossed. Go to this one. That's all vitamins. We already saw that. We didn't go into this, did we? No. Air what is it? Oh, it's an air mattress. Uh, these sell sometimes, but you still should get like 10 bucks and the pump's in there. So right there, you see it? So if the pump's yes. in there, they'll usually sell. You can't find the pump, it's pretty much garbage from our experience. Let's go into this last bag in the corner. Ooh, huh? It looks fancy. Mm -hmm. Look at that. It's all glassware. I hate it. I'm so scared to move it. That's all glassware. These are all bras. Yes. New bra, okay. Yeah, look at that. They all still have their tags on. They're all brand new. 36 C. All right. There's like multiple packs of packs. There's probably 15 or 20 new bras in there. What are these? Shorts? Underwear? Probably underwear. Underwear. Oh joy. <laughs> they look new though. Yeah. So it could have some money there too. Guys, there's people walking down the hallway right over there, so we're gonna shut the unit. 24 hours in a storage unit, right? Oh, yes. Next YouTube channel. 24 hours in a storage unit. <laughs> no, but really, let's see what we got here. Some boots. What brand? Pajar. P-A-J-A-R. Never heard of that in my life. Hmm. Montreal, so maybe they're Canadian. I don't know. Sounds right. Is that a phone? Hey, it doesn't feel like it's in there, but it would have been a phone. Can we at least have a charger? Ooh, an SD card. Yeah, it's almost more fun than an actual phone. <laughs> what are these? Co Corso Camo. And these are soft. All right. Hey, more money saving. Trash bags. Yes, just ran out of them. Hey, there's not many in there. There's a good amount in there, actually. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's like 20 bucks and it just saved us. So, hey, cut the price down to 60. Some plates, too. There's matches in the bottom, so. Some random kitchen junk there. Oops. Let's see what this pan is right here. We're bidding. Everyone was saying this thing is like really expensive or something. So, a Zwilling Energy stock pot with glass lid. Hopefully, this brings in some good money because that's what everybody was saying. And hope they're right. Now, let's get into this one. What is that? Oh, radio. That takes your iPod, it looks like, or iPhone. Nail polish. It looks new. Something's in here as well. More silverware. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's like plastic though, so. Mm -hmm. Eh. Dang. Oh, I thought that was an iPod at first. <laughs> it looks like a remote to the radio. And you know, always store your empty thing of cashews. Yes. Because why not? What's in the last bag? Let's see. Joy. Butter Rutgers. Yep. Not the wire. What is that? Water? Huh? Water I have no idea what this is. You? No. Is it a heating pad? Cooling pad? I don't think it'd be plastic. No, it's gotta be something cable related. 
Yeah. Hmm. Cable. Maybe. TR's things remembered. Congressional school again. Okay. Ooh, it has her name on it, but a nice pen. I wonder what the price on that is. 35 bucks for a Man. pen. That's crazy, but I don't think anyone's gonna want a personalized pen. What's the name of that name? Yeah. More holiday cards, but we'll look into the holiday cards and stuff too because hey, IKEA card. You never know, some of those holiday cards we found money in the past and there could be gift cards in there too. So we got some research to do, but we'll get it all to the car, load it up and do a recap and let you know what we found. I'll see you then. Right, guys let's do a recap on this unit not only were there a ton of epic money makers but there is some cool stuff we found as well so if you remember I think somewhere in the beginning of the video we found a bunch of holiday cards in a manila envelope and guess what one of them had in it and not $20 $40 that's almost half the money back of the unit right there in cash cash is always king in this business we only spend like I said 85 on the unit that's 40 back in cash before we even sell anything so let's cut that down to a 45 dollar unit that sounds a little bit better now let's start going through some of these things so the boots you saw in there i saw these selling for about 20 dollars or so on ebay some pairs are selling for like 15 some people are selling for almost 50 so i don't really know which is which you think auction probably auction would probably be your best bet when i see those fluctuating prices i'm like auction and let them fight for it because i really don't know what it's going to be worth <laughs> The cooking stuff, though. The cooking stuff was so expensive. I just, I, I didn't think it was that expensive. Do you remember what this one was going for? Uh, I don't know. Uh, was it this? I think new, this one's about like 100 to 200, depending on the court. Yeah. And then the, like, the ply, I guess. I don't really know what that means, but. I remember some of the last one of these I sold on eBay. Now I remember. You, it was $160 <laughs> at Bed Bath & Beyond. And on eBay, the last one I sold was for $80. So. That's more than paid for the unit since we already got 40 bucks in cash with just one item, which is always good. This one, I was hoping, I was like, that should be at least 10 or $20. This thing's like 60 or $75 on eBay. It's a lasagna pan and some gloves. <laughs> But 60 to $75, and that's not with free shipping. That's with the buyer covering shipping too. So $75 plus shipping. That means people are paying near 100 bucks for a lasagna pot and some gloves. <laughs> and I think there's a book or something that comes with it too, but I was more than happy. Just plug this sucker in. This works perfectly good too. And I didn't realize when we were going through it just how thin this TV really is. It's really, really thin. So instead of 10, that's probably more like a 15 or $20 monitor because it is pretty small still. But being that thin, people love those thin TVs. I don't know why. I mean, I know they're lighter, but once you set it down, you never move it. So I don't really get the advantage of a thin TV, but hey, people like them. <laughs> and we found the remote for that. So yes, yeah, so we did it's find all the complete. Remote. So that I think that'll get 20 bucks. This is another thing that blew my mind. These six piece sets are like $30 on eBay for six pieces of silverware. I don't know about you guys. I'll go to the Dollar Tree and get my six pair for a buck or two. Yeah. But if I guess if you want a fancy name on your spoon for some reason, you can pay $30 for it. It's literally just six pieces, two spoons, two knives, two forks. 30 some dollars that's just i don't know understand like the brand name I, I say the same thing with clothes i don't know why you would pay an extra 100 bucks to get the same thing just because there's a fancy name on it doesn't make sense to me all right next we are going to talk about this hair dryer so this is a hot tools hair dryer and it also had an attachment i think to let's just like focus the air on a certain part snap it <laughs> uh, but this went for like i don't know like 20 bucks or whatever so that'll probably be listed locally um these new bras Brand new, there are five, eight of, or nine, nine bras. Um, two different brands or whatever, but both of the brands are go for like seven to $14 a piece. So hopefully we can get that. I'm kind of stacking all over there. Be another hundred dollars <laughs> right there in bras. So this thing, did you see what exactly it was? If from what I read, it's like an amplifier almost. I guess okay. you hook your cable wire up to it. It's oh, kind of serves as a wall. medium. 
Yeah, that's that's what I got from okay. it. I just kind of looked it up on eBay. There's a ton of different brands. I didn't really know how to tell which one it was because there's no information. Yeah, on it. and that there's perk. yeah there's no <laughs> model number on the actual device itself. Um, so I mean, but this went for like twenty to thirty. Yeah, some of them were as low as like eleven. Some of them okay. were high as thirty something. But I'm make sure I got that right. Without the box, I don't know how we could tell which model it is. I don't yeah, know if it's a no $10 idea. model or a $30 model. And this quilt should be a super easy sale locally. This is a full slash queen quilt, and it's retail at $120. But it goes uh, now for like 40 to 60 so hopefully we can get that for that. Uh. <laughs> um, and then a couple more things here. So this is kind of interesting, and I never found this before, but this is... It's used, obviously, but it is a GG like wax melter, but it's Ooh. for like I think to remove hair and stuff. I didn't see any like the strips or anything, but you just put it in here, and this one is half used. And then I found two more. I also found a phone. Oh, cool. <laughs> this is just a flip Ooh, phone. Did you get it to cut on yet? No, it's dead. I brought uh, the charger for it, so here's the charger. There could have been so much information on this. Yeah, I think that's the charger for it. Oh, yeah, um, it is. Anyway, this came with two brand new um, inserts, I guess, extra things of wax. So we'll post Ooh. that locally. I think this is going for like 15 to 30. So hopefully that's an easy sale. I think it should be. And lastly, the Dunian Burke purse. So we think it's authentic because it has the name tag inside of, not the name tag, the number tag inside of it. And it has the um, leather patch right here. However, the only thing that I see wrong is going to decrease the value is that there are a lot of stains in here. I, we don't have any cleaner to clean them out, but hopefully we can either find some or sell it sell to somebody who cheaper. has. Yeah, sell it cheaper and somebody else can clean it themselves. Um, but did you have a price on this? Yeah, I looked the brown one up. We, I said 50 in the video because that's what we sold it for in the past. But I see one that look very similar going on eBay for $78. So Ooh. it could be worth a little bit even more than that. But seeing as how it's an $80 purse and it does have a few stains, the $50 original price might be about right. But guys, <laughs> hey. I just got the phone on. You know, I got to look really quick. Are there texts there's in a here? Soul, no. There's a Soul Train background. Soul Train. Um, let's see. Oh, they had a hat business going on. Uh, maybe it's the, the crocheting or whatever they did, the sewing. Yeah. There's no inbox in here. No! I, I haven't used one of these in so long. We're going to go through it really quick. Let's look at pictures and media center. we got to find some information. You guys know, I'm like catfish, all right? I like to go through and just find out anything I can on people. It just makes stuff so interesting. Oh, they must have like a pictures. pretty success. They have a lot of hat pictures, though. Oops. Hmm. I mean, a lot of people, I guess they were knitting hats. Hmm. But there's nothing bad on here. Ooh, it is a crashed car. <laughs> Maybe that's from the DUI. <laughs> Maybe, actually. But other than that, I mean, there's a couple pictures of a destroyed car. Other than that, it's people in hats. So somebody probably had a successful <laughs> hat business, maybe. Let's look at the contacts. I, I, I wanted some juicy information. Like, when I, when I find a record, even though it's DUI, I just expect I'm going to find something interesting, but... Not many I'm contacts. Not. They don't even have many contacts or anything. They don't have... They have like seven. Yeah. And we have, from what I can see, just a DUI. No, I was expecting to find, you know, some prostitution stuff, <laughs> some drug stuff, the normal interesting stuff we find, but not this time. Just DUI. But you know what, guys? $85 unit. We got 40 back in cash, a $45 unit, and there's no way we don't make at least, what would you say, 400 plus easy yeah. on this unit. And at, honestly, at first, I was not expecting to make much money back on this. We were just like, let's just take this last one. We need one for our video. And you know what? Second time this happened to us now. We had that same method, and it ended up being an awesome money maker. So you know what? I am <laughs> happy. So that is going to be it for this one, guys. If you did enjoy it, leave it a big fat thumbs up. And if you're not already, hit that subscribe button for awesome treasure hunting videos all the time. And if you do want to follow us on our social media links, they're going to be on screen. Click the links down in the description below. Make sure you follow us on whatever you have. Thank you so much for watching. And until next time, peace out.